new Dazzle DVC 100 capture card, but you don't know how to use it. This will be a guide on how to use your Dazzle DVC 100 capture card. First, you will need a television with AV inputs. You will need a game console. In this case, it's a Retro Duo, which is a combination between the NES and SNES. You will need a Dazzle DVC 100 capture card. In this case, it's an HD one, and you will need the respective uh, software that came with it. You will need AV splitters or cables. Now, in this case, it's easier to use because it has both. Um, it has two outputs, but you may see a problem. These cables are yellow, red, and white, while these cables are green, blue, and red. Well, the respective cables, red goes to red, white goes to blue, and yellow goes to yellow. Sorry, I got the shot off a little bit. So just remember this. Red, red, white, blue, yellow, green. You will need a double-sided AV cable. You can find one in old VCRs usually. They only cost a few dollars if you don't have one. And you will need a computer, preferably a laptop, because so you can move it around and you don't have to extend the cables because they can only reach so far to your computer. So, the first thing you want to do is take your console Oh, now I am doing this with one hand so it's kind of difficult to pick it up. So you want to take your console and Plug the respective cables into the TV. Oh wait, not the respective cables yet, but that will come later. What you actually want to do is take the side that goes into an electrical outlet and let me find the nearest one. Okay. This is an electrical outlet. Let's move it a bit closer. Okay. So, you want to take the electrical outlet and you want to plug it right in there. Okay, now. The next thing you want to do is take the double-sided AV cables, as you can see. Remember, they must be double-sided, so, as you can see, this side and this side, because this side is going to go into the Dazzle Capture card. So. Instead of the usual uh, plugging your um, consoles cables into the TV, you will want to plug these into the TV. So, red to red. Can be a little tough holding a camera. White to white. And yellow to yellow. Yes, if you're attempting this, you do not have to hold a camera like I just did. Okay, so it should look something a little bit like this. Still got your console. These cables connected to the console are still not in the TV. And they never will be because they're going in the capture card. Okay. And these, the other side of the AV should just be hanging out like that. Okay, now, this one, 
this uh, cable is red, blue, and green. Now, most cables will not be like this, but in case you have one, just remember the little trick. Let me place this down here. Uh, hmm. It's gonna be kinda hard to do, but I think I can manage. Okay. Now remember, yellow to yellow. Or yellow to green, I should say. Really not doing too good of a job, but as long as I get the information across, I guess that's what really matters. And if you have splitters, then there sh you should have uh, three splitters. You can do with two, but um, three is better sound. And if you have uh, cables without this little box thing, then you should have two cables. So, now is the fun part. Take your capture card and plug. Okay, I got that. Plug these three in. So as you can see, there's white, red, yellow, and this is S-Video. Um, most consoles do not have this, so don't bother with it. Mine does, as you can, whoops, well, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but you can see the basic shape of it, it's just like a little cable, I'm not really sure what it's for, I think it might give the video better quality, but it's not necessary, so, okay, um, so do red, yellow, or in my case, whoops, almost did it wrong myself, even I'll make some mistakes sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so it should look like that, and got, so it's just a big connection, but your console is out all by itself, it's so sad, it doesn't have any friends, so. Connect it. Yellow, green, red, red, white, blue. Now everything is connected. Take the USB on your side of the dazzle. And next you should plug it into your computer. it in this chair to make things a bit simpler. It can get tangled pretty easily, so just make sure all your cords are good. Now, you should be able to find USB on the side of your computer or on the tower if you have a, a desktop, I mean. And it is indicated by that little tiny symbol. The quality is not good enough, but I'm sure you know what a USB looks like. There, plug it in. And in the next part, we're going to talk about how to record and upload your videos to YouTube or whatever. See you till then.